Central has been blessed through the years with many dedicated friends. Some have supported the college financially. Some have sent students. Tonight we want to honor one person who has done both, supported the college and sent students. His name is Rodney Randall, one of Central's earliest students and a faithful servant of Christ. Rodney and his twin sister were next to the youngest of nine children. The family lived on a farm and Rodney completed only the eighth grade. He was needed to help on the family farm. Throughout his teenage years, he worked several years on various farms in Missouri and Kansas. Picked apples and peaches in Yakima, Washington to help support the family. <clears throat> Farming was an occupation that Rodney would return to many times. At age 24, he met Leela Bradford, and after a six-year courtship, they were married. Their marriage lasted 70 years, and they were blessed with four children, Jim, Linda, Janet, and Timothy. Some of them are sitting here tonight just out from the table from me. Not long after they were married, Rodney and Leela attended a revival meeting and Rodney was baptized into Christ. He was 24 years old when he became a Christian. That same year, Uncle Sam sent him greetings <laughs> into the U.S. Army. He originally was selected to be a sharpshooter in a tank. But the more I thought about that, a tank is a pretty dangerous place to be. So uh, he requested to be transferred to the Army Air Corps. After receiving more training, he was sent overseas to the land of India. After the war, Rodney and Leela returned to Higginsville, Missouri, where they farmed and later opened Randall's Country Store and Gas Station. While attending Cedar Grove Christian Church, Rodney began to study his Bible, and he was asked to preach his first sermon at age 37. After leaving the store, Rodney started working as a carpenter for a contractor in Kansas City. That carpentry work was a skill he would use much of the rest of his life in his ministry. He enrolled at Central Christian College at the age of 40. He was still working in Kansas City as a carpenter. He had built two large barns on his farm and he was raising 4,500 chickens. And on his days off, <laughs> he would commute 200 miles round trip to and from Moberly to take New Testament classes. One of Rodney's assignments got saved. He wrote it in 1958 about why he went into the ministry. Let me read a couple paragraphs. After being in the service for three and a half years, while being so far from home, I read my Bible and felt God's nearness. I felt I needed to study more, though it seemed hard to understand. As time went by, I did study. I'd find myself preaching a sermon while I was driving the tractor. I believe many times I could preach, but I didn't tell anyone. I knew what a minister's job was, to serve the congregation. I never thought at the time about the need for saving souls. I'd been preaching about six months when I started school at Moberly. It helped me more than I can ever say. But in all this passing experience, I can see only one thing. Bringing the gospel message to the lost and saving souls, that we may rejoice in Christ and praise his holy name and reign with him in heaven. That's important. 
There's no stopping or turning back. May God bless in all his work. In 1957, Rodney began serving two churches, Valley Christian Church and Columbus Community Church in Warrensburg, Missouri. I think we should have a picture on uh, the first convocation of Central Christian College. Have we had that one up already while I was reading? If you look back at the double doors, there are three fellows standing to the left. The third one is Rodney. I didn't know until I saw this picture, guys, that Rodney was at that first convocation. How oh, great. He was ordained to the ministry in June of 1960. In the winter of 1960, he left the farm and accepted the full-time ministry at the Mitchell Church of Christ in Mitchell, South Dakota. He would later serve First Christian Church in Unionville. And oh, let me sneak in something that isn't in my script. One of our early teachers was named Dan Peterson. Dan had been a logger, and on one night he cut a finger off. And so every time he preached, he only saw a couple of fingers sticking up there. But Don never used a note when he preached. Mr. Peterson never used a note. Rodney Randall, to my knowledge, never had a script in front of him when he preached. And boy, the churches that were built. Well, back to the story. From Unionville, he went to the West Plains Christian Church in West Plains, Texas, the Meadowbrook Christian Church in Kirksville, Missouri, the Alvaz Christian Church in Alvaz, Missouri. During his ministry, he often remodeled parsonages and even built some church buildings. And uh, I think Sherry told me there are a couple of crosses in a church building up at Unionville that she used to see as a kid and didn't know that Rodney is the one who had built them. He was 60 years old when in 1978, Rodney and Lila bought two acres northeast of Unionville to be their retirement home near their daughters, and uh, they tried to retire. However, the Christian church at Plano, Iowa needed a preacher, and so Rodney was their preacher for the next 10 years. He tried to retire again. That lasted for two years. And then he was called to serve the East Side Christian Church in Cincinnati, Iowa. He filled in for that congregation for the next seven years before he retired from weekly preaching. He continued to teach Sunday school at First Christian at Unionville until he was 90. When he was a youth, Rodney taught himself to play the guitar and the mandolin and the harmonica. Music was something that he and Leela would enjoy all their lives. They'd sing gospel together, songs together just for their own entertainment. Mr. Pelfrey noted that Rodney and Leela were monthly supporters of Central Christian College for many years. Each gift was accompanied by a letter from Leela surveying the weather, the Randall family, and other items of interest, she very often included a little note. Leela died in December of 2012. Rodney lived on his own until he fell in December 2013. His last years were spent in the Putnam County Care Center, where he continued to minister others, helped with the Bible studies, played his harmonica, he died on August 26th, 2016, at the age of 98. Even at 98, he quoted the scriptures. He knew exactly where to find them in the Bible. He served the Lord for over 70 years in various capacities. He performed innumerable baptisms and weddings and funerals. And his interests and his legacy are clearly seen in his children. Tim and Jim both attended Central and met their wives here and graduated. They continued Rodney's legacy of ministry through their service. Janet shares her 
parents' love of music, she and her husband are gospel singers. Linda and her husband enjoy life on the family farm. And if you look back over the life of Central Christian College, there have now been four generations of Randalls here. There was dad, and there were some sons, and there have been some grandchildren, and I've had great-grandchildren in my class. What a joy. Well, we're pleased that his family has allowed us to honor Rodney tonight as one of our dedicated friends. And I'd like to say that uh, it would be possible for you to also become a dedicated friend. You could do one of two things. You could continue his legacy by supporting the college. Your gift tonight will help to provide the full tuition scholarships that we like to offer to our students. Rodney was a minute man for many years. You could become a part of that program tonight and multiply your legacy and maybe sometime 60 years from now, somebody will show your pictures as a dedicated friend of Central Christian College. Rodney, Jim, Tim, we are so grateful to have known you and your dad. Thank you so much for letting us work with you as we try to help the churches here in Missouri. Mr. Reese pointed out uh, some of the Randall family here tonight, and I wanted them to stand. I'm not there. There they are. If you guys will stand just real quick, we want to just express our appreciation to the family. Thank you. In in front of you is an envelope, and the envelope gives you an opportunity tonight if you'd like to share a gift uh, to help us prepare students for the ministry and uh, some of our students are here tonight they could all tell you what the full tuition scholarship has meant to them and uh, gifts from people like you make that possible um, if you want your gift to specifically be in memory of uh, Rodney Randall just mark that in the memo line or on the flap of the envelope uh, on the tables are these little flyers we put these out at uh, Memorial Day uh, for the a list of different memorial gifts and honorary gifts that we have received for the prior year. And if you mark that, your name will be uh, in there if, uh, if you want that to be listed to show your appreciation for Rodney Randall and his many, many, many years of service and support. Um, just put Randall Memorial on the memo or the flap and that'll happen. We're going to have some containers that we pass and uh, four guys have, have those uh, for us. And uh, as the as they're passed from outside to inside, uh, just uh, put your envelope in there. We're going to watch a short uh, slideshow with some pictures on it and a song. I remember going to visit Rodney a few years ago, and he played the harmonica for me just a little bit. He said he couldn't play it very long, but he played, and uh, I wanted us to have a song to hear tonight. This is not him playing, but I think he'd enjoy it because I know it's one of his favorite songs. So let's watch that while we pass the trays. <laughs> 